Hey everybody, welcome to Level Pixel Level, and this is Driver's Masterclass. Uh, today I'm just going to show you a problem that you might run into when you're adding a driver to a rotation value in Blender. So I've set up this little rig here, and you can download it from my Gumroad account if you want to try it on your own. Uh, essentially it's just this little node as a controller that moves around this windmill uh, prop here. What I want to do though is I want to rotate this blade section here, but I don't want to do it with a controller. I want to do it with a property, just to keep this rig nice and simple. So first thing I'm going to do is with this controller down here selected, I'm going to make sure I'm in pose mode. I'm going to go to add property. I'm going to click on edit. The property name, I'm just going to name it blade underscore rotation. I'm going to leave the property value in the default value. I'm just going to flip the max up to 10,000 for now. It's looking good. I'm just going to click OK. Before I make my driver, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to copy the data path before I move on. And you'll see where this comes back later. Okay, now I'm going to select on the blade mesh. I'm going to right click on the Y rotation and I'm going to add a driver. Now this panel is going to come up. I'm just going to move my mouse away. I want to do this through the editor for now. So I'm just going to lift up my timeline and I'm just going to switch this to a drivers panel. And yours might not look like this. This panel here might be hidden like this. If it is, there's just a little arrow right here where you can expand it or you can hit N to expand it as well. So I'm just going to click on Y Euler Rotation. I'm going to go to the Drivers panel. And I'm going to leave it as a scripted expression for now. I'm going to get rid of the plus 0.0. .0. I'm going to flip it to a single property. I'm going to add the windmill, which is the rig here, and under path, I'm just going to do command V or control V on a Windows machine. And if I hit enter, you'll see that the windmill blade is moved, uh, and that's because the value is one. But there's one little problem with this, and I'll show you what I mean right now. If I come back to my rig, and under blade rotation, if I put this to 90, what I would want is that to be 90 degrees so that this has actually turned 90 degrees, but in fact, it's turned 5,157 degrees, which is not ideal when you're working with a team of animators. They're not gonna know why that happened, and it's gonna make this dial feel really odd. Like, how are they gonna know how to turn it four or five times? So I'm gonna show you why that happens right now, and it's because of a degrees and radians conversion that's happening inside of Blender. I'm just gonna expand this menu and I'm just going to change my editor type to a Python console. Degrees and radians are actually from the Blender Python API. So if I type in degrees and I type 90 in here, it's going to bring up that value of 5,156. If I type in radians 90, I get 1.57. That is what I want to plug in to my equation to ensure that my blade is turning correctly with my property. And I'll show you what I mean right now. So I'm going to select on the blade. And instead of var, I'm going to type in radians, bracket var, and bracket. That takes the input of the driver and puts it into 1.571 by default, which gives me 90 degrees as the end result when it's converted again. So now when I put this at 180, if I click on the blade, it's moved 180 degrees. So when you're working with rotation and drivers, you have to do that conversion if you want the rotation to match what your input is on a property. So if I put this to 360, the blade has now gone 360. Anyway, let me know what you think about that if you found that useful for helping you deal with rotation and drivers in Blender. Uh, next week, I'll be doing a short video on constraints within Blender and how to drive them and where those might be useful. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.